Hello! In this video, we're going to learn the different careers in engineering and engineering technology. Specifically in this PowerPoint, we will discuss what is engineering, what's the difference between engineering and engineering technology, what is ABET Incorporated, and we'll discuss the different types of engineering disciplines. What is engineering? Engineering is using math and science to solve practical problems. Some of the traits that it involves requires creativity, persistence, and a desire for improvement. These are all basic ideals used in engineering. Currently, there is a lot of talk today about STEM fields and needing people in the industry, in the STEM industry. The reason these positions are so vital to our economic growth and development is because of these criteria of creativity, persistence. Engineers tackle problems that don't always have a solution handy. We may not know the solution, but we have to persist in trying to find it. For example, a cure for cancer and a desire for improvement. You must want to improve either your way of life or space travel or products, but just a general desire to improve things. Engineering and engineering technology are two different types of um, disciplines that kind of overlap a little bit. The engineering straight engineering disciplines are a little bit more mathematical and use mathematics to explain processes and the way things that, that way that things work. Engineering technology is more supportive of using technology and less math to figure out the way that things work. Engineers do a lot of research complex analysis on the way that things work or materials and processes complex designs, development. Engineers are involved in the development of new products or improvements to products. They are also involved in manufacturing and this is kind of where we get into the overlap between engineering and engineering technology. Engineering technology does the testing and the evaluation of products after the engineers have developed and designed them. They do routine design, so things that need to get made over and over and over, they can be experts on a particular part and then make sure that it gets made correctly each time. They're in charge of production. They're in charge of operation and service and maintenance of the people building the uh, parts. And they're also in charge a lot of times in distribution and sales. So you can see that these over these traits over here require less mathematics than some of the things, the tasks that are, have to be done on the engineering side. What is ABET Incorporated? Well, this is the accreditation um, program used for college and university programs in applied science, computers, engineering, and technology. These are the people who go to different colleges and look at their programs and certify that they will produce quality engineers at the end of the program. You definitely want to go to an ABET accredited college to get your engineering degree. You can visit www.abet.org to learn more about courses of study and which institutions have ABET accreditation. Now let's talk about engineering disciplines. Currently, the government keeps statistics on 17 engineering disciplines. Each discipline includes an ABET accredited course of study, and each discipline has many subfields or specializations available. For example, a doctor may choose to be an orthopedic surgeon, which is a special kind of surgeon, but even more special than that, he could decide to just be hips and knee replacements rather than the whole body or the whole orthopedic part, so he can specialize in just parts. Engineering works the same way. Here are the 17 engineering disciplines. So I'm going to give you a minute just to look this over, and in a minute we'll talk about each one specifically. You'll want to have your engineering notebook out so that you can make notes about each of the disciplines in your notebook because there will be a short quiz at the end of this video. 
aerospace engineering. A lot of us have an idea about what aerospace engineering is, but it's not just about space, it's also about planes. They design, develop, and test aircraft and spacecraft, ranging from rockets and spacecraft to gliders and small passenger aircraft. You could design and build a, the plane. You could work on just the fuselage or the interior, but you could also design or build instrumentation to colonize space. You could also um, work to try to make planes go faster, hold more people, be more economic, to make air travel safer, and after you get experience with aerospace engineering, you could even be part of the, the NTSB that investigates crashes. Um, agricultural engineering. Agricultural engineers create technology to advance food, biological, irrigation, and machinery systems. You might design systems for crop growth in small places. You may design systems for irrigation for crops. You could develop fish farming systems. You could research and modify pesticide use so that you can um, leave less of an impact on people by and on food by changing the formulas for pesticides and overall you improve food safety. Biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineers devise procedures and devices to improve medical conditions. For example, you might design artificial organs, limbs, or joints. You could manufacture man medications for diseases such as cancer or AIDS, or you could determine ways to prevent sports injuries. Biomedical engineers use their engineering knowledge in order to facilitate medical advances. Chemical engineering addresses issues related to chemical production, transformation of raw materials, and chemical use. Chemical engineers have a, a wide variety of applications out in the workforce. For example, you could work on more efficient fuel sources, you could devise alternative production methods. You might map the human genome, or you could also develop medications. A chemical engineer could also be used to help uh, create a new formula for pesticides, as we saw in agricultural engineering. Civil engineering. You plan the design, construction, and maintenance of various civil structures. A common one would be bridges and tunnels, but also civil engineers can design roller coasters, as we see here in this picture. They could also create airports or determine weather safety designs for buildings. Uh, one other thing to say on this, a specialized part of type of a civil engineer is an architect. Computer Hardware Engineering Research, design, develop, and test computer systems and computer-related equipment. Computer hardware engineers will design networks, build computer systems for NASA, and analyze system requirements. They actually build the physical panels or work towards the right configuration and physical panels for computer networks and computer systems. Electrical Engineering design and develop and test the manufacture of electrical equipment and large-scale electrical systems. You might design an effective radar system, determine new ways to harness electrical power, test aircraft electrical equipment. You could be in charge of designing new panels for aircraft and the screens that they see. You could oversee electric utilities. Also, you could work on the circuitry of cell phones to make them smaller so cell phones could be smaller same thing for flat screen TVs really designing and developing anything electrical and electronical oh electronic engineering design develop and test small electronic systems such as appliances telephones surgical devices etc these people can work on a new cell phone design, they build video games, they can invent medical robots capable of examining the human body. So they could invent little tiny robots that we can insert inside of a human body so that we can determine if there's damage or if there is a problem internally into the body without having to um, open it up to see. 
environmental engineering. Here in this picture we see a material recovery or sorting facility where we take trash and we store it, we sort it so that we can better recycle and save the environment. Environmental engineers help with this process, designing a building process to create the sort and also trying to design and build different trash facilities to help make our waste not be so environmentally harmful. They can clean up hazardous waste sites, design technology for reprocessing materials, that would be like recycling, and they can also design methods for reducing pollutants in our atmosphere. In this example over here, we can see that there is, this is a Helios that's a remotely piloted craft. It can fly for weeks at a time using solar fuel cell technology and contribute no pollution to the atmosphere. The craft provides monitoring and telecommunication resources. So here's an example of something that an environmental engineer created. Health and safety engineering. Identify potential hazards and develop protocols to prevent or reduce hazardous situations. So you could be in work to design prevent workplace accidents by maybe designing a proper workflow for a shop environment so that accidents are kept at a minimum. You can enforce measures to prevent nuclear accidents or you could reduce traffic accidents. So if you're a health and safety engineer then you work on safe processes for lots of different applications. Industrial engineering plan the most effective, efficient ways to build structures, lay out production, facilities, run organizations, transport goods, etc. Industrial engineers are all about efficiency. So they can improve efficiency in hospitals. They can improve efficiency in amusement parks. Disney hires a lot of industrial engineers and they call them Imagineers in order to lay out their theme parks so that uh, they can sort all of the people that enter in a day and not get them all bundled up in one place and so that's why they have lots of different things for you to do at different places throughout the park to try to diversify the crowds so that you don't feel like you're all just stuck in one spot. They could determine the machine layout for manufacturing facilities so to decide what's the best way to lay out as seen here in this picture an assembly line so that you can efficiently put your car together in the correct order and also to make sure that parts are delivered at the right time. And another thing would be to design stadium facilities for convenient use. For example, ladies, the, the age-old bathroom quandary. How many stalls are the right amount of stalls? Machine and ocean engineering is exactly that. Designing, constructing, operating, and maintaining machine and structures that are in or near the water. You will have to understand things like pressure as you go farther down in the water, the different pressures. Also, the toll that salt water takes on different parts um, and on metal and rust and corrosion. So you might build or maintain oil rigs using your information. You could build robots for deep sea exploration. You might design marine vessels like ships and cruise ships and um, battleships or you could even improve submarine technology. Materials engineering develop, process, and test materials to be used to fulfill a specific design purpose. So you might improve the safety of combat uniforms. <clears throat> you understand materials and how they work and what they are good for, if they're light, if they're heavy, if they're bulletproof, if they're not, and so that would help you to improve the safety of combat uniforms. You could determine material to replace burn victim's skin. You could design protective materials to be used for space travel. You could develop materials that efficiently conduct electricity. So you learn all about materials and their properties and then you can apply them in various different disciplines. Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers research, develop, design, and manufacture and maintain devices that produce or consume power. So you might design cars, determine a new use for a laser, maintain power producing equipment such as wind turbines, or build production machines.
Mechanical engineers can, are interested in how things work. Mining and geological engineering. Design, develop, and maintain mines, mining equipment, and mining techniques needed to locate and extract ores and minerals from the earth. You might locate gold or silver deposits. You could develop explosive methods. You could create safety procedures for the mining industry. You could design efficient extraction equipment, sort of like you did through the SkillsUSA robotics competition. This would be something you could also, a geological engineer, is also someone who can be interested in petroleum and helping to find um, oil. Nuclear engineering. They develop methods and symptoms that systems, sorry, that utilize nuclear materials for energy, medicine, and industry. You might inspect or maintain nuclear submarines, identify new medical uses for radiation, develop methods to utilize nuclear energy for space travel. In this picture over here on the left, we see an advanced test on a reactor core prior to the startup phase. These are nuclear engineers who are, are performing this test. Petroleum engineering is used to locate oil or natural gas reservoirs and design methods to extract and transport that oil. You might design new methods for extracting oil or natural gas from the earth. You could determine the most cost-effective extraction locations. You could identify locations containing oil or natural gas. You could also be in charge of helping to determine and design pipelines that go across the United States. Here are the resources for our PowerPoint today. I hope you've learned a little bit more about the different disciplines for engineering. Now you're going to have an assignment where you try to go back and look through the PowerPoint and pick your top three and we're going to try to learn a little bit more about what interests you. Thank you.